And exhausted Bella Bixby is with us right now. Bella, it's about 15, 20 minutes after you had the final whistle. What was your reaction when that final whistle went and you guys had defeated Leon one to nothing? Yeah, absolutely stoked. We were so excited for this tournament to face some international competition. Um, and I thought that that was such a fun game to play. I know that it was high stakes were in the final, but I seriously had a blast. And um, we're so grateful for them to come out and be in this tournament with us. So that final whistle blew and I knew we won. It was just like everything we've worked for. This was a tough week. It felt really good. I want to flash back to the first half because particularly the first 10 minutes, they had a little better of the game than they did for the rest of the time. What was it like for you trying to not only manage the defense, but manage the challenges that they were presenting to you? And then what was it that allowed the Thorns to start, well, playing more Thorns style of game after that? Sure. I think that um, they gave us a lot of different looks that we haven't seen before. Um, and that was, you know, testing our ability to communicate and organize in an effective way in a fast paced game. So. Um, once we were able to kind of weather their momentum, we were able to really get in the game, settle into it, start passing, playing our style of play, and I think that it paid off. We just kept going, kept going, and paid off when Weaver came on and we got that goal. Now you are already part of one trophy winning team this spring. Now you not only were a part of the team, you were on the field for the full 90 minutes, keeping a clean sheet against OL. What was that like for you personally to experience that, not only in terms of the win, but in terms of the occasion and the location? Sure, I think that it was awesome to have it here and I'm uh, stoked that it was at Providence Park. I tried to approach this game like any other. I tried to push every game the same way so that I can keep my emotions level and I think that I succeeded at that, but at the same time it was like, oh my, we're playing OL, like this is awesome. Um, so I had a good balance of um, really taking in the significance of the moment while also trying to just stay mentally and emotionally level. I'm going to try to get you unleveled here for a little bit because we did see how you celebrated Morgan's goal and we did see you run about 70 yards faster than you've ever run before. So just tell me the reaction when you saw that ball from all the way across the field hit that left side netting and knowing at that time you've probably won the game. Yeah, I think that we were getting close, getting close for the last 15 minutes and it just felt like oh, we're so close, we're right there. And so when that finally I saw that side netting go, I was like, oh, there it is. And I just took off running and uh, Props to our fitness coach. I'm, I'm ready for that, right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I almost feel like I couldn't help myself. It wasn't, I didn't even have to think about it. It was just wanted to be with my team in that moment for this huge team success.